Have you ever wondered why we see a lot of shades and tones around us? Like the bright yellow sun in the morning, the white clouds dancing and floating in the blue sky, the gray moon with twinkling yellow stars in the evening, the clothes we wear, or even the delicious meal that we eat every day. Everything that we see is made up of tiny pigments that when combined together produces a shade of something spectacular to witness. Hey city buddies, it's Rain! Come join me today in our lesson and let's explore the variety of colors. Colors There are four categories of colors. First, we have the primary colors. Primary colors are the source of all other colors, and they are the three basic things that are needed to form a color wheel. The first primary color is red. The examples of red are apple, strawberry, and rose. The sun, banana, and duckling all have the color yellow, which is the second primary color. Last but not the least is the color blue, which is dominant when you see the sky, the blueberries, and the ocean. Let's go on to the secondary colors. Secondary colors are created by mixing two primary colors together. There are three secondary colors, which includes orange. The examples of it are orange juice, a tiger, and a pumpkin. The next secondary color is green. The examples of it are turtle, frog, and grass. The last secondary color is violet. And what are the things that are colored violet? Easy! Eggplant, lavender, and an onion. The third category of colors is the tertiary colors, which is produced by combining a primary color and a secondary color. We have six tertiary colors, and these are red-orange, like this car, red-violet, which is her hair color, yellow-orange, just like this flower, yellow-green, which is also seen in this lime fruit, blue-green, Wow, that is an amazing hair color. Blue-violet, and this is how it looks like. The last of the four categories of colors are the neutral colors, which are sometimes referred to as earth tones because they are defined as hues without color and they cannot be seen in a color wheel. The first two neutral colors are black and white, and these are the examples. The next three neutral colors are gray, tan, and brown. Just like this gray sweater, this cute tan bag, and polished brown shoes. Whew! That is a lot of colors, but I enjoyed learning it with you guys. So what's your favorite color? Comment it below and see you soon in the next video. Bye, study buddies! If you learned something from this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe!